This list is slightly different from a list of greatest engineers of all time Engineering is mainly dealt with applied sciences and while building something useful out of an abstract theory is a prize on its own Usually the Nobel Prize is traditionally awarded for the advancement of knowledge and breakthrough in the understanding of mankind What's really controversial though is the engineers rightful claim to the prize if you were to go through the will of Sir Alfred Nobel himself It goes something like this The interest is to be divided into five equal parts and distributed as follows one part to the person who made the most important discovery or invention in the field of physics one part to the person who made the most important chemical discovery or improvement one part to the person who made the most important discovery within the domain of physiology or medicine one part to the person who in the field of literature produced the most outstanding work in an idealistic direction and one part to the person who has done the most or best to advance fellowship among nations the abolition or reduction of standing armies and the establishment and promotion of peace congresses as you can see it says for the prize should be awarded to anyone who makes the biggest discovery or invention of the preceding year the word invention being the key word here nonetheless as past trends suggest Nobel Prize has established itself only for radical discoveries and so here is the list of top 10 engineers of all time who came up with radical discoveries worthy of a Nobel Prize number 10 Frank Whittle Nobel Prize in Physics for the discovery of heated supersonic flow expansion in a rarefied fluid flow The inventor of the turbojet engine his biggest radical moment of brilliance was discovering how a supersonic flow from the combustion chamber Can be made to do work in the most efficient way possible This was important because the physics of supersonic flow was not at all developed at its time Literally, no one had much ideas about the trade-offs between shockwave losses and high-speed jet ejections, especially in case of an afterburner. Why should you care? Because without this, none of your Air Force fighter jets or your intercontinental ballistic missiles would work. Be it Iran, India, Russia, China, France, USA, or literally any other country in the world with a fighter jet, you have a lot to thank this guy for. Without him, we'd go back to the slow days where the war was won or lost based on naval and land dominance number nine Nicholas August Otto Nobel Prize in physics for rapid heating and stabilization of compressed polytropic fluids If you fall anywhere between a high school student and the end of your life, you know the Otto cycle the four-stroke engine cycle the engine that changed the automation industry you can draw the diagram with your eyes closed so you must be wondering what's so radical about that well this guy actually found a way to stabilize the explosive power of the charge ignition at a time when flame stabilization was not even a research topic he managed to sustain it for thousands of cycles the key insight being compressed polytropic fluid in exchanging adiabatic and isothermal boundaries if I were to seat you down and ask you to derive an expression for sustaining the explosive power trapped within fuel you might start with famous relativistic energy equation or the age-old laws of thermodynamics under open volume integral but you wouldn't be going much further than that this was a monumental discovery and if you own a car or a bike or just love speed and hate being behind a dude driving at 10 miles per hour you have everything to thank this guy for number eight James Watt Nobel Prize in physics for the discovery of extraction of low-grade energy when you are the SI unit of power there's a hard reason to deny you a Nobel Prize in the first place however the most intellectual part of his idea to use a condenser instead of the previously used cooling cycles was his ability to understand that low-grade energy can be retracted into useful work the existing notion at the time was that since entropy of an isolated system has to always increase once energy is lost as heat as entropy there's no way of getting it back people tried to minimize the production of heat instead 
What Watt did was show a way to bend the laws of thermodynamics just a little, enough to blur the lines between isolated and constrained system where you could exchange entropy for work. Rest is truly history. Number 7. Alan Turing Nobel Prize in Peace For shortening the Second World War by at least two years and saving lives of at least two million fellow citizens, with a bonus of saving the crippling world economy. Okay, hear me out. Until Nobel Prize for Mathematics is being announced, Turing's biggest claim to the prize is through his heroics in the Second World War. The moment of brilliance we're referring to is his trailblazing papers on probabilistic cryptography and statistics of repetitions. You know a work is important when it's kept confidential for 70 years and are finally unclassified in 2012 under community pressure. Guys like these are world heroes and should be celebrated like one. Seriously, we should stop being a hypocrite and stop patronizing someone after they're dead all the while treating them like shit. Number 6. Nikola Tesla Nobel Prize in Physics for Efficient Electric Field Propagation If your picture of sitting inside a room full of electricity zapping everywhere is a household picture seen by almost everyone alive, you know your Nobel Prize is on its way to your mail post and will be arriving any day now. Be it alternating current or wireless transmission, the revolution this man had brought to the entire electrical industry is unprecedented. You cannot exaggerate the importance of this man in the modern world. His insight about reduced heat losses over long-distance high-voltage transmission when using an alternating current or his insight regarding the wireless transmission of power without domain superposition, this guy brought it all. Even his Tesla coil was a game changer on its own. Bottom line, in every way possible, this man deserves his Nobel Prize. Number 5. Archimedes Nobel Prize in Physics for his contributions to the foundation of hydrostatics. Kings from the ages gone generally used to be mental, bar a few maybe. They would order you to do something and if you fail, boom, your head's gone. Our good friend Archimedes was in a similarly tight position, but for the betterment of us in the world, he saved his head. We all know the Archimedes principle, but what we don't comprehend is how truly profound the discovery was. Without Archimedes, we wouldn't be able to differentiate between a wood that floats and a rock that sinks. Expanding it into molecular physics back in 200 BC, his ability to comprehend the dynamic equilibrium between mean oscillatory particles and differential population rise was unprecedented. One of my favorite phrases is, whatever floats your boat, and for that I have everything to thank Archimedes for. As for you, well, if you've ever been on a boat, a ship, or generally in your neighbor's swimming pool, it's because of this guy that you knew in your heart that you could do it because buoyancy got your back. Number 4. Leonardo da Vinci Nobel Prize in Physics for contribution to the foundation of structural mechanics. We all know who he is. We all were secretly waiting to find him in the list, but deep down we all kept wondering as to what would be listed as his radical breakthrough. The answer is his key insight into the relation between force and torque. From his flying machines to his catapults, the one thing that was most striking was his ability to understand how we can vary force and torque and interchange between them. Structural mechanics existed before da Vinci, but no one ever correlated the force and the torque quite as da Vinci did. Even though rudimentary, his understanding of gear ratios, torque multiplications and moment arms centuries before force and torque was even defined is what makes his insight so spectacular. While he still remains undisputed king amongst the artist folks, his pioneering breakthroughs would have surely and rightfully earned him a Nobel Prize as well. Number 3. Richard T. Whitcomb Nobel Prize in Physics for the formulation of the behavior and profile of supersonic perturbed flow. It's nothing short of a travesty that no one outside the field of aerospace knows the name of this genius, 
and I would rather go as far as to tell this guy contributed more to physics and to the world in general than most other Nobel laureates combined. His magnum opus was the discovery of Whitcomb area rule and the supercritical aerofoil. In brief, he not only revolutionized but founded an entire modern understanding of high-speed flows. Whenever you move through a field, you experience resistance. As your speed goes up and up, a plethora of new parameters come into play and things behave in complete pandemonium. Nothing happens like we think they will and this guy is the reason we now understand most of it. From drag profiles and mock planes to pre-compression blade profiles or cusp trailing edges, this guy is behind all that. Okay, I might be exaggerating a tiny bit, but honest to God, without him, there would not be any supersonic jets or even transonic jets whatsoever. Want to get from Sydney to Los Angeles? Without him, that would be 19 hours instead of 15. And thrice the price, please. What? Your country's being invaded? Do you need immediate air support? Oh, I'm sorry, but your planes are five times slower now. You have a better chance calling your nearest Navy. Number 2. Leonard Euler Nobel Prize in Physics for the Contribution to Heuristic Information Interpretation Ah, Euler, you crazy, crazy guy. Even if the last science or mathematics class that you took was back in high school, you would still immediately recognize this stupendously brilliant and crazy dude that spared no field with his voluminous contributions. Be it calculus, algebra, topology, fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, structural mechanics, you name it, and he's done it. For the readers thinking which moment to choose, I'm honestly lost for words and anything you choose will be enough. I personally chose his contributions to complex analysis. I feel that had the most profound effect of the entire scientific community. Be it communication, surveillance, astrology, or signal conversion, anything that had to do with his complex analysis, like Fourier transformation, it would not work without the foundations from Euler. And for that, he deserves a special edition of the Nobel Prize, and not just the normal one. Oh, and on a side note, he also came up with the fundamental symbol of any function, fx, and is also honored with the single most important constant alongside pi, e being named after him. So there's that. And finally, number one, Michael Faraday. Nobel Prize in Physics for the Unification of Electromagnetism He was the definition of engineer, but more importantly, his findings transcended every other scientist of his generation by a mile. People till then thought of electricity and magnetism as two separate things. Can you believe it? He had such a profound impact that two separate words, electricity and magnetism, became one. Now that's some serious impact right there. Although he lacked mathematical rigor, his ability to deduct that they are but the same thing and his rightful prediction about the nature of potential field lines and the theory behind electromagnetic induction cannot be refuted whatsoever. Just like Higgs, who had to wait for his prediction of bosons to be confirmed before being awarded the Nobel Prize, Faraday just had to wait till Maxwell, who was inspired by Faraday's work itself, finally came forth with his set of equations for electromagnetism three of which already existed in a slightly different form. Faraday's claim to Nobel fame cannot be argued whatsoever. End of sentence. That's all for today. Last time, a lot of you guys complained about the narration and the music. We here at Scrivial hope that this time you liked it. Please chime your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. We love reading them. Bye-bye.